did you have to have um, any sort of devices to assist with digestion, eating, feeding? Um, yeah, I had uh, a few feeding tubes, um, some NG tubes to help with uh, just the extra fluids in my stomach. Um, but yeah, I had the feeding tube because uh, after the surgeries, I had developed a hematoma in my uh, intestine and it was completely blocked off. There was no food, no water, and the IV, tr IV nutrition wasn't doing enough. I had lost 50 pounds in that 27 day stint. AJ, were you drinking on the river that day? Yes. Do you believe you're intoxicated? Uh, probably, yeah. Did, do you recall how you got to shore? Um, no, not really. I, uh, didn't know that I did really. I just remembered the standing up and the falling down, and then I know people did move me in the end, but I don't remember it. I couldn't, I couldn't see or f feel anything at that point. And you don't remember the. Do you, well, let me ask. Do you remember much of anything or anything from the point where you're on shore till you wake up in the hospital? No. Um, I think I had lost too much blood at that point. I mean, I, in the past, I've lost a lot of blood from an injury when I was younger, and I lost sight and vision. Or, I mean, I lost sight and hearing from that, too. So I know that, like, once you do lose enough, certain parts stop, stop working because your body's trying to keep you alive, not your senses. 2573, are you in this frame, AJ? Yeah, in the yellow shorts. Okay, you can t take this screen down, please. I'm just gonna go scroll from Stopped at 2,800. That f section of frames I just went through, AJ, are those, is that the part where you got hit yeah. with the knife? Yeah. And that, did you know that guy's name at the time? No. Now, you know, know him as Nick Lime, you. Yeah. And I want to ask you a question quick before I, this, this exhibit, um, 29, if you know, I don't want you to speculate, but do you know if that's, and again, don't answer, if you, if you don't know, that's fine to say you don't know. Is that from the slice or was it, did you have further incisions from surgery? 
No, that's all from the slice. There's, um, it actually goes from, like, you can't see it super well in the picture, but it goes above my rib cage too. They, they didn't have to open me up. I was already open. Do you know, can you show with your hands about how long the laceration was? Yeah, about that. I mean, it's below the belt line to above my ribs. Are you comfortable showing? Do you have a scar? Yeah, quite a quite a big one. Are you? Are you comfortable showing the jury? Ah, uh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. It actually might be faster if I just don't tuck it. It stops right there. There's a little gap there because it hit my ribs, but that's okay. it. Thank you. Um, again, based upon your memory that he pulled someone's hair and punched them from behind, correct? Based on the memory that I know that he punched someone, yes, okay. it doesn't matter how he punched them, I know he punched them, and he shouldn't have. Okay. Um, and you were going to make him pay for that? No. So when he's down in the water on the ground and you're standing there trying to be the peacemaker because you're not a fighter, you thought it was going to be peaceful to you to keep him down in the water? I mean, it was shallow water, his head wasn't below. All we needed was an extra second to get people to move away from him, and then he could get up, and we could possibly have a conversation, but, I mean, he hadn't used any words up until that point, so probably not. So when you're standing there next to him when he's on the water, you don't see your friend Dante come up and smack him across the face a second time. You don't I, see that. I saw him get dropped into the water, and I was looking down at him. My hair was over my eyes here. I mean, it was shorter than it is now, but you can imagine. So you didn't see him go back into the water the second time in response to Dante hitting him? Didn't. You didn't uh, see that? He went down into the water, and then he never got up. Sure, because Dante Until he, when he was in the water, correct? Okay, but you said the second time he was in the water. That's the first time still. The second time came after he stabbed me. Okay, understood. Um, his uh, first time was in the water was extended for a longer period of time because Dante smacked him when he was already down in the water. Sure, yes. And you were saying you were standing right there, but you didn't observe that. No, like I said, my hair was in the way, and I wasn't really focused on Dante. I didn't know where Dante was. I was focused on the man who was hitting in the people, who was hitting people, not... At that point, the man that was hitting people was Dante Carlson, right? Sorry, should I... I will rephrase. The man who started the physical altercation. Okay. Um, that was what, that's what essentially your opinion is, correct? I mean... I would say that the first person to throw a punch would be the first person to be aggressive, regardless of if um, there are other people slightly touching his shoulder. I mean, even you were talking about the consent to touch thing, and he touched other people without their consent too. So I mean, if you want to go that way, we, we can, but it just doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm not trying to go anyway, sir. I'm just trying to gather the facts. So the person that's punching Mr. Mew, you don't see that, correct? I saw Mr. Mew fall into the water, and I didn't see anything after that when, in terms of him getting hit. When you saw him fall in the water, you went up to him from behind. No. I apologize, but I'm going to need to show some slides. Yeah, I mean, I can explain what I did. It's good. I'm going to just we'll go through some slides. Showing you what's... 2705, that's Mr. Mew in the water, correct? Yes. That's Dante Carlson swinging and, to hit him, correct? And my leg in the bottom. That's corner. your leg in the bottom, correct? Yep. 
You're moving towards Mr. Mew, agreed? Yes. I'm moving at him from his, what would be his front left side. And then eventually you come to be behind him, correct? Uh, when I would still say I'm at the midpoint of his body, he just sat up. That wouldn't necessarily constitute being behind someone. I mean, yes, I, I was, I guess, technically, but he wasn't there when I walked there. He moved himself to have me behind him. You moved yourself, correct? No, he moved. I, I moved, I walked over there, yes, but I was standing right at about his hips, and then he st or sat up. So is it your testimony that in some way Mr. Mew was aware of your presence and intentionally turned to have you behind him? Is that what you're saying? I'm not saying he did it intentionally. I'm just saying that that's what happened. Okay. So, again, you're behind him, correct? In uh, sort of on his side. <coughs> Until he this starts... This is you with your left hand on his back shoulder yeah, and his but... right hand on his back shoulder. You're behind him, correct? Yeah, I have both hands on one shoulder. If I w I'm not completely behind him. You can see I'm somewhat on the side. But yes, I'm somewhat behind him due to his repositioning. You're pushing him, correct? Yeah, I, that's where I had said that I thought I'd push him in the front left shoulder to keep him down, but I was there too late, so I didn't get that shoulder. I guess I got the back of it, and... You said you're a peacemaker, right? You like to mediate? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. You can understand how somebody who'd been down in the water and hit two times, getting pushed from behind, may not understand that you're trying to mediate. I think Jack's speculation a lot. Goes to his mindset. Overruled. Not... You can answer the question if you're able to. Sorry, what was the question? Sure. As a, somebody who likes to mediate and was attempting to mediate, you can understand how a person in Mr. Mew's position who'd been hit twice in the water might not understand or appreciate your intent to try to de-escalate by pushing him in the behind. I guess. Might misunderstand that, right? He, he could misunderstand that. Sure. But, I mean, could have been solved if he tried to use words at all, too. What you did say is Mr. Mew wasn't saying anything. You could agree that in this position, with somebody pushing him from behind and somebody hitting him in the front, it might be a difficult time to use your words to make peace. Yeah, the right time to use your words would have been before he punched a woman in the face. We can get to that later. Um, you extend your body to, in an attempt to push him down, as you say, correct? Well, I was pushing down and then he got up and I <laughs> fell forward, so. I was asking about your intent. Your intent was to push him down in the water, agreed? It was to push his shoulder down so that he stayed down and I could tell everyone to back up, yes. So you agree, your intent was to push him down and keep him in the water? To keep him down, if the water, I mean, if the ground was there, I would have done the same thing. It didn't, I wasn't worried about there being water or not. It was shallow, his head wasn't going below. He was gonna be okay. You could understand how perhaps somebody in the position getting pushed from behind in the water might not appreciate that you were trying to protect him and keep him okay, right? I Is guess. His head appear to be getting wet there? Not his face. That's where your mouth is. I, I don't, I see maybe the right cheek dip in a little bit, but as soon as Go, f go a few slides further and you'll see it sit back up again. Sure. Safe as can be, right? I, I don't know. It is. Yeah, please, let's, let's focus on the facts. Sure. Clean Q&A, please. Just back up a little bit more here. When we, you said his head didn't go in the water. Fair to say that's his head making a wave, correct? I would say that's his back making a wave and okay. his head still not in the water. Have you ever fallen back after getting laid out in the water like that? Yeah, I have. Okay. Did it feel like maybe the water was coming up on you even if it technically didn't? Uh, no, I mean, I, water usually has a pretty sure. distinct 
feeling on okay. your skin. I mean, and when you had that experience where you got laid out and fell back into the water, did someone come up and attack you a second time in that situation? Sustained. So I'm going to go forward back to the position where we were before. I apologize. So again, you'd said here at 2754, you're attempting to keep him down and he manages to move away from you, the person who's pushing him somewhere in the back area, right? Yes? Yes. I was trying to push him in the front left shoulder and I got the back left shoulder. Sure. Because he was getting up and I was not fast enough to get the front left shoulder. Um, and I'm gonna go through some other photos here that might be difficult. Are you okay with that? Yeah. In this position now, you that's you in the yellow shorts, correct? Correct. And to your right is Dante Carlson, correct? I believe so. I don't know. I, I, I don't remember seeing anyone else there. I remember pushing down and feeling this, strange. Sure. Is this person, you knew what Dante looks like, correct? Uh, yes. Is that Dante in the two-tone gray shorts with the truly in his hand? Uh, I believe so, yeah. And then that's the same person that's legs are right there, correct? Correct. So you and Dante are standing very near Mr. Mew as he's beginning to try to get up out of the water, correct? Correct. And as he begins to get up out of the water, you move towards him, correct? Yeah. You didn't know that he had a knife, correct? No. Nope. You were going at him, correct? I don't know. I don't remember anything okay. after your the first push. This is where you're trying to, you push him down again, correct? Um, I would say we kind of attacked each other at that one, if anything. But I mean, okay. I didn't, I, I don't remember this, so I can't okay. tell you. I don't. But you're. I didn't. He he got me before I did anything to him. So. This is oh. your hands on him, agreed? Okay, maybe my, my hand is on his arm, yeah. This is you, as you said, attacking him, correct? I didn't mean attacking, sorry. Those are the words that you used to the jury. I, I mean... You were attacking him. I wasn't attacking him. Okay. You were trying to push him down in the water. I was trying to separate, every, or get him isolated so that we could separate everyone else from him. So we could get everyone away and then we could figure out what was actually going on. Because you hear teenagers asking for help, you hear people yelling that he's a whatever. And you, I mean, at that point, and you see minors, you're gonna be more worried about getting him away from them before you ask the questions. Please. You'd heard that he, w people calling him a predator, correct? I don't know what I heard. I heard just, I heard them saying stuff about a little girl and I heard I, just, I don't know what else, it was, I don't know. I didn't know, if, like I said, I didn't know if there was a girl in that group. I wasn't worried about whether or not there was. I was worried about getting the person that they were calling a pedophile or a raper away from the minors. 